Hi guys, Marita here. I'm on my lunch break. I just wanted to take a moment. It's July 21st, oh, 22nd of 2022. Uh, I'm putting out there that I really want to start a foundation. Uh, it would be a funding type foundation just to get things rolling. And my ultimate goal is to uh, purchase property, get funding to purchase that property um for me to be able to start a cooperative it would be a living and working type cooperative i envision it being uh something that would be like a flea market i could lease out the property and hold on to some of that money but obviously as it being a nonprofit uh, foundation and meant for purpose of uh building and creating things that actually can be sold uh, the profits from that a portion of that of course from each member who wants to be a vendor on the site that portion is going to go into the funding foundation to get it started and up and going uh, that funding foundation is going to go towards building in the end result crisis relief um, containers is, is my main goal or tiny houses at some point and also utilizing um, self-storage units and things like that as a way to build towards that funding as well. I have my own creations that I enjoy doing as a hobby, which is my beta fish faces, which is a super eco-friendly solution um, in a way to use it as a tool for educational prop too. And I'm trying to get the school districts and the boards and, and other places in the local area to see what I'm trying to do and really understand it and appreciate it. And I think over time, if I can get this foundation started and the fundraising that it would produce, I mean, let's say selling an item for $25 that I make, um, I get a profit of $15 and maybe uh, $5 of that goes towards the foundation or vice versa, doesn't matter to me. Um, it's just a way to get it started and be able to continue to grow and show in social media, um, you know, kickstarting a campaign, what it is I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to become a millionaire myself, although that would be great. I could do so many more things if I was supported like that, uh, to be able to public speak and talk about my passions of why I'm trying to do this. I just foresee that we are going to need housing um, the economy is crazy. We have no way to predict what's going to happen. Anytime there's a disaster or some type of issue, whether it's locally in the community or across the world, it's something that over time I think people are going to see like, wow, we're building something that is making sense. Um, utilizing a foundation that would be building the funding can go towards anything, but mainly for crisis relief. Kind of like Red Cross. Um, if there's an issue, we can come in and we can send a tiny home that we've been building on the living and working co-op to those people who might need it. Uh, whether it's a fire in the community and somebody needs a place to stay temporarily. Uh, women and children in abusive situation and domestic situation where they need a place to stay temporarily. Whatever it takes, um, we can help educate people as we go along the purpose of it. Anybody who's a cooperative committee member or a membership person who would pay a certain fee throughout the year, let's say it's $200 for the year to be a member, um, all of that money is going to go right back into um, the cooperative and, and to keep it running so that we can continue to provide the products to be able to sell. Uh, a lot of people are super crafty and coming up with their own ideas, want to start their own business and have nowhere to go that they can afford to make this happen. So I envision having a, an enclosed um, area that would be a flea market that people can come and vend day and night. I don't care if it's midnight, whatever time that they want to be there, it would be surveillance, it would be safe, it would be provided, um, it would be affordable as long as everybody's contributing and it would make sense. Uh, people can live on the property. I don't care if they bring a camper and they need a place to stay. I don't care if it's winter. I don't care if it's summer. Um, they're going through a situation as long as they contribute and help out and become a member and maybe funding out there through the education department, um, science, uh, research and development, uh, the government, FEMA, whatever it is, whoever is out there who's listening, um, who has extra money and wants to put it towards something to see something grow, it will be an investment opportunity as well for those people who are interested in that. Um, as long as it's being supported and somebody's out there hearing this, I hope they understand it's not just about me, but I do also see myself running um, you know, a property that would be beneficial for everyone, not just myself. And it's so diverse and unique that only I could do it and get it started. I mean, I'm sure other people could take the idea and try to do what I'm doing, but they're not going to get the full specs and understanding until 
I present it. Um, I have my business plan models. I have multiple ones. I'm just waiting for the right investors to hear it. Somebody to give me money or offer partnership with me, come in with me and do this. Um, I would love to live on a property that's 15 to 20 acres to get started. I would open up the land, of course, um, to be leased out for self-storage and for, um, you know, flea marketing. Um, I have attraction uh, ideas and things that would help people come in and learn about artisans and techniques and, um, you know, old school things that are, we're losing, we're losing our generation and our younger generation to understand how to sustain themselves. Um, any type of artisan technique that you know that would be beneficial to learn about. They can come there and learn themselves. They can get certified in things, safety courses, awareness. Um, I envision like a um, like a center lodge or, or a headquarters lodge or, or some sort of um, you know rental hall where we can speak publicly on stage. We can record these things and, and upload them live, uh, YouTube, whatever. Uh, we can show people our work, almost like the real world. We can show everybody what we're doing every single day and hire like our own um, media group to work with us to, to market, advertise, put it out there. Again, it's not just to make money, it's to show the cause and put awareness out there and hopefully more people want to be involved. Churches, school districts, um, you know, universities, whatever's out there that wants to see this benefit push forward. And if we get people involved that either need to live there and want to take part or, or take on this journey as an apprenticeship, maybe there will be funding through universities, education department, whatever, to help support it. That could help in a way. And all these things are available and it is possible. I just can't find the right people to hear me. So this is part of me just being me. Wow, I just spoke for seven minutes. I can't even believe that. Um, but this is me getting started to want to start a foundation, uh, a funding foundation, just to get where I need to be. If I had a way to make, uh, my goal would be seven hundred to nine hundred thousand um, dollars to purchase property. I don't care if it's two hundred thousand, and I can find the right property to work with. I would like a property that already has a home on it, so I can just go ahead and move in and and caretake for the land and get things prepped and be there and continue to to escrow and, and get more funding to make it happen and get people involved and, and be able to monitor this as it grows. I mean, this is like my baby. Um, so, you know, my goal is at least seven to $800,000 to get started, purchase the property, go ahead and open the land for people to come in and camp on, be a part of this, have a place to go if a crisis situation happens just to get started. I'm gonna be purchasing shipping containers. I'm gonna start building a team that can put together a way to make these tiny homes that are transportable to any location that I can get them to when they're in need and get my name out there. It's going to be Freelance Creations um, Fundraising Foundation. So Freelance Creations Funding Foundation. I know it's a kind of a tongue twister, but that is my dream. That is my goal. And that's what I'm trying to do is get myself out there. Whoever's listening, I've had this idea for many years. Um, but sometimes when we go through our own adversities, it's what pushes us forward to really um, get outside of our ourselves and our comfort zone and push forward. So that's my dream. That's my goal. And I hope it makes sense to people out there. If you like this, share it, subscribe, do what you got to do. Um, push it forward. I have blueprints, drawings. I did a CAD and engineering. I understand majority of that. I do not have a degree. I'm just super good at speaking in public and awareness and safety. I do have a background in teaching and health education and, and uh, CPR and, and swimming and things like that, swim instructing. Um, I have diverse background in mechanical comprehension. Uh, it, it, I'm such a diverse person, but again, it's not about me, but this is where the, the light bulb goes off with me that we could do so much more if we keep it moving. Incoming call, press 